Hello there, it's Nooch, and welcome to this. This is the big video. This is the full comprehensive guide for you for free to play farming of Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and you can unlock him free to play in 10 months or less if you follow the steps in this guide. And with some of the, the nerfs been happening in the game, um, what's going on with the game right now with some of these characters that were our Galactic Legend counters being nerfed, Vader, Gas, etc. Galactic Legends are really do seem like the way to go for the future. And Nooch has chosen Kylo Ren because he's great in the raids. He is a Galactic Legend and his farm is, now that we're into the deeper in these Galactic Legends, him and Ray are two of the easier farms and we go with Kylo because primarily of those raids. Now, this is the point in the video for those of you who are new, where new should normally, uh, Palpatine would pop on it and tell a dad joke. So we're gonna do that real quick, and then we'll jump into the guy. We got a lot of information here. We're gonna put a lot of tags down below. And if this does help you, you know, go through Nooch's videos. We're gonna, we're gonna be putting a, we're gonna be putting tags down below. We're gonna be putting uh, video links up here for some of Nucha's videos. I've been doing, done a whole series on this from day one to today I'm at eight months and, and seven days. So you can follow those videos, subscribe, like, but let, let's get to the Palpatine uh, dad joke. Hang on. <clears throat> here we go. Greetings, nooch centric individuals. How many Sith Lords does it t take? to screw in a light bulb? None. They prefer the dark side. <laughs> and now, Nooch brings you the full free-to-play guide for farming Supreme Leader Kylo Ren in 10 months or less. It gets the uh, gets the old chords going. All right, what we're gonna do is this is we're gonna take our time here, make sure we do this right. We want to give you as much information as possible, and again, we'll put some tags down below. If you want to go to a specific part, that's fine. You can see what's going on. The very first thing we gotta talk about, the very first thing, because it's the first thing you do when you get in the game, is what do you farm first? Who do you farm first? Because the very first thing you're gonna be doing is farming characters. And with, with the drops are doubled now, for those of you who are new to the game, you don't know it, but you used to get half as many shards. You get five um, from buying them instead of ten when you get one. Anyway, the shards are doubled now, so you can farm the characters much faster. So who are the first characters you farm on the way to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren? Now you might be thinking, I need to farm all these First Order characters and uh, Palpatine and veteran smuggler Han Solo, because that's what you need. And let, let's go ahead and take, tell you what, before we jump in, let's just take a look at everybody you need to get Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. You need Kylo Ren Unmasked at Relic 7. We, don't, we, we're not, we won't go over the relics, that's for later. But you need Kylo Ren Unmasked, you're gonna have to get him all the way maxed out to almost as far as he goes, it wasn't, anyway. First Order Stormtrooper, First Order Officer, Kylo Ren, that's OG Kylo, Captain Phasma, First Order Executioner, Veteran Smuggler Han Solo, Han Solo, Old Dad, Dear Old Dad, Sith Trooper, First Order Special Forces TIE Pilot, Hux, First Order TIE Pilot, Emperor Palpatine, uh, Dear Old Dad, I, I don't know what he would be, he would be the guy who's trying to lure, that was a weird one to me, Always from the, I always thought that should be Vader, Grandpa should have been there, but whatever. And the Finalizer. So basically you need every First Order character in the game and Palpatine and veteran smuggler Han Solo along with the finalizer. Now, how do you start your journey? And it's very simple, guys. You're gonna farm your first three farms. You're going to farm the Phoenix. You're going to farm KRU, Kylo Ren Unmasked, KRU. And you're going to farm your Geos, your Geonosians. Now, what sense does that make? You've only got one character in there, Nooch, of all of them. You've only got one character out of all of them, KRU, and the rest you're not even farming First Order yet. Here's why, and, and let's talk about why. Um, you farm the Phoenix because you need them to unlock Emperor Palpatine. Now, you don't specifically need Phoenix. You just need five rebel characters. And if we go to our journeys... And we look at uh, solo journeys. Here he is, Emperor Palpatine, the very first solo journey in the game. You need five rebels. Well, the Phoenix are rebels. 
but why would you farm the Phoenix instead of farming like uh, maybe a CLS squad? Because to get CLS, you need Farm Boy Luke, Leia, Stormtrooper Han, Old Ben, and R2. Okay, I get it. Um, why would you use the Phoenix instead of that? Well, because if you farm the Phoenix, you can also unlock Thrawn because Phoenix are required to unlock Thrawn. And what this does is you level up your Phoenix immediately. You get them, get them geared up, get them, get them starred up and geared up and leveled up. You go get Palpatine. You'll be able to get Palpatine unlocked before Thrawn. Thrawn is a harder event. Then you do Thrawn. Now you got yourself a nice little arena team with Palpatine, Thrawn, and Vader, who's going to become, you're going to be getting Vader on your team. You really can't even avoid it. You just start, he, he is the bonus character you get with all the activities you complete. You get Vader shards. So you're going to have yourself a nice little early arena team with Palpatine, Vader, and Thrawn. So that's why you farm Phoenix first. They're your very first farm. Now where are you going to get the Phoenix? And let's talk about how you farm the phoenix right off the bat what you're doing uh, where are we you're gonna get down to phoenix okay we're gonna start with uh ezra because ezra is available in cantina battle 2b that's your second level cantina battle we'll go there in a second because we're also going to look at not sabine uh who else is in cantina battle? somebody else was here we go hera hera is a very early battle 1f uh, i can't really go there can I? if i click battle do i go there here we go so you can see here in your cantina battles you'll be able to lock hera right up front and then you'll be able to get ezra in the next level you're going to unlock these levels pretty quickly and early in the game so you're going to farm these nodes early and often you, you'll get them to three stars pretty quickly um which brings in another point i'm going to guess that you have friends playing this game if you're coming in to play the game you know somebody that's been playing for a while you need to become friends with them. You need to ally with them. I kind of kind of take it off, but you need to ally with your friends. You get their ally code. You come in here, you enter their ally code, you send it out, you search, you find them, and you become allies with them. Because what this does for you early in the game, you get people with these big giant characters, a relic Jedi Knight Revan, a relic Ray, a, a relic Palpatine. You can throw you can borrow those characters early on when you go into these cantina battles or when you go into the regular energy battles. And when you borrow those characters, you're going to wipe these levels out. Those one character will finish this whole level, get you your three stars, and you use those borrowed characters as you move through all these all these levels, these cantina levels, light side battles, dark side battles. You're going to use those borrowed characters to get your three stars here because once you get three stars, you can sim this. Sim tickets are a little tough early on. You might run out of them sometimes. Uh, and then you have to actually fight the battle, so be careful with that. But once you get ships unlocked, which I think is at level 65, the sim tickets just start flowing, and you'll be, you'll have them all over the place. See, Newt has 31,000 here, and I sim everything every day. So Ezra and Hera, you're going to farm in the cantina battles. You're not going to refresh that energy, guys. It's too, it's too expensive. It's 100 per refresh. And here's the thing you'll learn long-term as you go through this farm. The character shards are easy to get. The gear is much more difficult. So don't spend your crystals on too many refreshes. You've got to refresh in the right places, and we'll talk about that. But you don't want to be blowing crystals on character refreshes, especially early and especially in Cantina. The Cantina refreshes are 100. The character refresh or the, the regular light side and dark side battles are 50. Don't refresh those Cantina battles. Just farm them at their pace and get them. Now let's look at the rest of the Phoenix. Where are you going to get those guys? We'll talk about the Phoenix and KRU and these Geos and where you can get all these characters as far as farming because that's really important to know where to get them. Where do you get Kanan? You get Kanan in the Arena Shard Store. Actually, I can't even get there from here um, because I've already got him maxed out. In the Squad Arena. So as you climb in Squad Arena and you win prizes, you see you win this currency right here, 600, 500, 400, depending on where you finish. You're going to be saving that currency, and I just jumped out of it. You're going to be saving that currency to redeem it in the store right here to farm Kanan Jarrus. Don't farm Mace Windu that. You're going to get all those free later. Don't do that. Don't ever farm Mace Windu here. You're going to farm Kanan Jarrus here. That's going to get you your Phoenix, another Phoenix right there. You're going to farm Zeb in the Galactic War store. So there you go. You've got Ezra and Hera in the Cantina Farms. Zeb in the Galactic War store. 
And it's the same thing. When you win battles here, you get currency, you come spend it in here, blah. And you're gonna farm Kanan in the arena store. Now, where are you gonna get your next, you, you have two choices for your next one. You can farm Sabine or you can farm Chopper. Chopper is available a little bit less often. I don't have him. He's gonna be right here in this slot. Let me make sure I got this right, yes. So Chopper's gonna be available sometimes like maybe every other day, right up here in this slot for 450 guild tokens. Now you're not gonna have guilds open, it'll be pretty quick, but you won't have them open immediately. And you gotta get that currency in there. It's a little bit slower farm, but you're not gonna have to spend energy on it. If you're gonna get Sabine, you decide to go that way, and Nooch goes, I, I really like Sabine, I wish Sabine was more useful, because her kit is a lot of fun, she throws a lot of grenades, gives a lot of exposes, armor shred, all the good stuff. Sabine is just a straight energy farm. She's, so she's going to be, well, when I say slower, you're probably going to be about the same pace. So you can farm Chopper. Chopper usually is actually the more more common choice because it's available in that guild event store. You farm in there, you get them up, you add them to your team. Boom, you unlock Palpatine, you unlock Thrawn. Palpatine's needed for the game. So there you go. There's your first Phoenix farm. Now what are you going to farm in Cantina when you finish off Ezra and Hera? Your next farm in Cantina, got boys and girls, is Kylo Ren Unmasked. Kylo Ren Unmasked, early in this game, is a ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculous tank. <laughs> He's a crazy, crazy tank. You're going to farm him in the Cantina node, and the bonus is, as you're farming him, you're also farming the TIE Silencer, and you need the TIE Silencer to get the finalizer. More on that later. So you're going to be farming KRU after you get Ezra and Hera done. You're going to farm KRU, Kylo Ren Unmasked, in the Cantina Store, Cantina Battles. This is actually double drops right now to go back to 2 and 1 for normally for you. So that's your next farm. Now you're going to get Kylo Ren Unmasked up to 7 stars, and then you're going to move, move around. You'll probably only have the TIE Silencer at 5 stars at that time, but that's good enough to be useful for early ship arena battles. Now let's talk about one more thing before we jump into the Geos, is the Phoenix and the Geos and Kylo Ren Unmasked are all gonna be really useful for you early in the game in Squad Arena and Ships Arena. And we'll continue to talk about this as we go. But when you want to unlock, unlock Squad Arena, you come in here every day, you compete against somebody else's set team, you climb the rankings in the Squad Arena. For, you can go all the way up to first, you can be down to I think 5,000 is the max limit. Wherever you finish, you get prizes based on where you finish, you get crystals, you get this currency, you get some uh, credits. Um, so Phoenix are really good in, in the first month or two, maybe only a month. Then you jump over to Geo. Geos can last you another several months until you really get that first order team up and humming. And right now you can see that Nooch is hanging out 108. Nooch hangs out right in the 120 to 80 range right now with his Kylo Ren. If I do the battle here, you can see I've got Kylo Ren, uh, Hux, Sith Trooper, OG Kylo, and First Order Stormtrooper. These are all relic characters at this point. And I'm eight months and seven days in. I've got them all there. So... Until you get that First Order team up and humming, you're going to go from Phoenix to Geos in there, and then you pop over to the First Order. You can use Kylo as your tank in there while you're doing it. Um, where do you farm the Geos? So let's jump to the Geos, because that's going to be your next farm. Now, now the Geos not only will do you well in Squad Arena, the Geos are going to be really handy for you when you get around to Grand Arena. When you get to level 85 and Grand Arena opens, and you're fighting, you're, it's a direct battle against other opponents, you field teams, I'll show you in a second. The Geos are so formidable. They are, they are early game. They're almost unbeatable except by Vader, and that may have changed now with Vader's uh, nerfs that he just got. So when you get rid of, when you get down with Kylo Ren and Mast, you're going to jump over to the Geos. Geo Soldier is a Cantina farm. He's in Cantina Battle 1. It is very first Cantina Battle you farm, Battle you fight. You should be able to get this to three stars and start um, simming it or using those tickets there. Uh, Poggle. Now, Poggle, th this is, here's what's interesting. You can see here in the game, I've got enough crystals, 65, I've got enough crystals here, or shards, pardon me, to actually level Poggle to his max level, but I haven't done it. And I'll talk about a little bit more about managing your power and upgrading characters in a minute. You're going to get Poggle shards with your Bronzeums. And this is something important to remember. In the store here every day, this is one of your activities every day, you're going to be doing these Bronzeums. 
You get character shards from these bronzeums in addition to getting gear. Most of the gear is going to be low level every occasionally. You Nooch has hit once on a really big piece of gear in here that was usable. The rest of it's low level gear. And you're going to get character shards. Let's see if we can hit on a character shard here. Probably should have done this before I jumped in, but that's fine. But you're going to be unlocking poggle shards in in here so you're going to be getting plenty of those but you can also farm him on regular energy nodes it's not happening let's go back into the characters so you're going to farm poggle also to 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 geon oceans in a regular energy farm now one thing of note find if you ever want to go after like chewbacca or the millennium falcon you need the ig88 ship and that's right here but you can do these regular energy farms and it's 4e and 6e it's going to take you a little bit to open those Maybe maybe a few weeks to 4E, maybe a month and month and a half, two months to get to 6E, but then you can farm Poggle. Oh, he was available somewhere else too. I didn't see that. Was he in the uh, arena store? Galactic War store. You could also farm him in the Galactic War store. Now you're farming Zeb there first, and then you're going to move to Poggle. But we're going to talk about a little bit. The, the Geo ships are in the Galactic War store, and that's really when you want to focus your energy when you finish Zeb. You want to get to those Geo ships and use the energy to farm Poggle along with those Bronzeums. Geo Spy. Do not farm any. This is important. Do not farm any characters in the Fleet Arena store. Do not farm gear. The only thing you ever farm in the Fleet Arena store, I will preach this, neutral preaches to the day he dies. Zetas. Don't farm these ships. Don't farm these characters. You only buy Zetas in here. Zetas change your characters. They will make they will make Kylo Ren Unmasked into a character, a tank that nobody can dominate. If you get him leveled up, geared up quickly and leveled up and get his Zetas on him, we'll go ahead and buy one now. We got enough currency. We're going to buy another Zeta. I got 108 of them saved. I only need 20 for each character. Saving Zetas for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Only buy Zetas in the shop. More on that later. Uh, so don't buy Poggle in there. Okay. Or Geo Spy. Where else is Geo Spy? I've got a resource here. I'm going to show this to you. Oh, I had it pulled up. Where did it go? Oh, Nooch is slacking. I had these pulled up, and I guess I shut down the windows. So let's, uh... We're going to pull this open. There's a couple of really good resources, and that's also a really good tip for you. Guys, you probably have to watch this whole video front to back. This is um, wiki.swgoh.help forward slash wiki. So... If you type in character farming locations, SWGOH, this is going to be the first thing in Google you're going to get. This tells you where you can farm all the characters. And if, we, and if we scroll down here to our geos, it's a really good resource for farming. Once you get it, you'll be able to go straight to it. Um, Geonosian Soldier, Cantina Battle 1A. Geonosian Spy, Cantina Battle 4D. So you're going to get him open too in Cantina as well. Fleet Arena Store, again, don't farm him there. Poggle is in those two nodes. Uh, where is Poggle? We're scrolling down here. Here's Poggle in those two nodes. Bronzium, you'll get them from there. Don't I wouldn't farm the Galactic War because you're using that for the for the Geo ships and, and Ground War, okay. And then our other one is Sunfac. Sunfac is available in the Fleet Arena store. No. Ground War and the Guild store. You're gonna farm Sunfac in the Guild store only. So that's gonna be a little bit slower farm once you finish Chopper. And then Geo Brood Alpha is going to be uh, the hardest farm of these but he's going to be the one that changes your team. And this Geo Brood Alpha is what turns us into a squad arena team and a massive defense team. Now he's in Cantina Battle 8D. If we go there, that's at the end of the Cantina Battles. This is going to take you several months to unlock, probably four or five months. So just be aware of that. But Geo Brood Alpha, once you get there, you want to be farming this guy because he changes everything, the entire dynamics of that geo team and by the way maybe you're not free to play maybe you're gonna go in and buy these buy these shards maybe you're gonna go in and buy some packs with him in it or other characters maybe you're gonna be refreshing your energy and paying for more energy that's fine up to you i'm just going through this free to play because that can benefit everybody and the farming guide it stays the same you'll just be able to do it at a little bit accelerated level that's where you farm your geos so there's gonna phoenix kru and geos your first farms in the game now that brings us to a really important point. For characters that are not required for Kylo Ren on mass, that's it. So all your First Order characters, your Palpatine and your veteran smuggler Han Solo, 
you're generally not going to gear them up beyond gear level eight. And the reason for that is you need to save all that gear for your first order, guys. Don't blow the gear nine gear, and I'll show you some of the more valuable stuff here. Let's take a look at, uh, actually I did gear up Yoda because he didn't require a lot of bad gear. But let's take a look at Boba Fett here. I've got Boba Fett at gear nine. Now what if I wanted to take Boba Fett to gear 10 to make him a little better? Because gear 10 is better than a gear nine. Gear 10 Boba Fett's better than gear nine. Here's the real problem. These two pieces of gear right here, their value is almost incalculable. Incalculable. These are your carbantes. You need like 1,500 of these. And let me show you a resource here that you guys got. Another resource, in addition to the one we showed you before, swgoh.gg. You're gonna go and sign up on this site. And when you do, and you go to your profile, I think it takes a, like overnight it batches and refreshes. Um, you can go to Galactic Legends Gear Needed. And when you do that, you can click on Kylo, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, if this ever, whoa, whoa, the lag is real. You can click on Kylo, it's gonna show you all the gear that you need to farm Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And right now, Nooch is down to some of this stuff. We, I don't have that much left. But guys, at the beginning, these Mark III Carbantes, let's go ahead and zoom in here. At the beginning, these Mark III Carbantes we were just looking at, it's like 1,500, 1,800, something like It's a ridiculous number of Carbantes. And you need like seven, 800 of these stun guns. And these are even harder to get. You get Carbantes more often than stun guns. Don't use these to upgrade characters that are not going towards your Kylo Ren farm. So in this case, I'm not upgrading J Boba Fett any more than level, gear level nine. And you'll get a feel for this as you go. He's probably got some other stuff in here. These are really valuable, although I probably got enough now that I'm okay. Uh, over here, I just need more of those, but I'm not gonna use them. These are pretty, you get a lot of these as you go out of the daily challenges. You're gonna get a lot of the Carbantes too. One thing to note, you get once you max out the daily challenges, you get 60 of these Carbantes, about 60. And those challenges are down here. You'll play through them, and you'll get them maxed out pretty quickly. This is another place you can borrow a friend's character to help get these maxed out. So keep that in mind. But once you max out the, uh, it's the Sunday, Monday, Thursday challenges, you get 60 of those Carbantes. Save those, guys. Don't spend them early. Don't spend them early. Save them. Save them for your first order characters. The big pieces of gear you want to save are those Carbantes, and, and let's go back into Boba Fett here and talk about the gear that you need to save. You need to save these Mark V stun guns. You need to save these Mark III Carbantes. Just hoard them. Hoard them. Don't spend them. And you need to save these Mark III Senior Holo Projector Salvages. Don't spend those early. Save them for your characters, your first order characters you need to level up, to gear up, to get to the characters. Other other pieces of gear to be saving and hoarding as you go along. Let's see here. It should be a Master Yoda. Has he got it in here? Here we go. These balls, these gold balls. Don't spend these on anybody that is not in your first order farm. These are valuable and it's the same for the other. There's two pieces of gold balls. Save your gold balls, boys and girls. Save your gold balls. Um, these Mark IV here, save those two. You're gonna get a feel as you go for pieces that you should be saving and not spending. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna give you two exceptions to this rule. I'm gonna give you two exceptions to this rule and maybe three if you've got the Geos. For characters that you can gear up by using that gear. Now you can see that I've got Grandmaster Yoda at gear 11, not taking him to 12. That's because I didn't have to spend much of that gear to get him to gear 11. I was able to get him to gear 11 without spending all that. But you can see now he needs gold balls and other stuff, so I'm not going to spend that on him. So if you can get a character up, I think another easy farm, First Order Executioner is a pretty easy farm too, by the way, and that's why he was one of the first Relic characters I got. I'm going to say three exceptions. We're going to say Bosk, Darth Vader, probably Darth, it's going to be Darth Vader first. You're okay to spend the gear on Darth Vader. He's such a good character that you want to have up there. You're going to use him in those early arena teams. Gear up Darth Vader. When you unlock Bosk, and that takes some time to get to him, and we'll talk about that in a minute, because he's on the very last hard dark side node, uh, well, section, you can you should gear him up, because you're going to be using his ship, 
and his ship when he's geared up is great. Boss geared up with a couple of Zetas is an amazing character to have in Grand Arena, especially early on. So, Bosk and Vader, and then your Geo Brood Alpha, which we talked about with your Geos. I don't, Nooch doesn't have him. That's some of the mistakes. I'm going to tell you some mistakes to avoid here in a second. Your Geo Brood Alpha. Those will be the three exceptions you can make to spend the gear on to get them up to help you out in Grand Arena, Squad Arena, everywhere else. Now let's talk about Nooch's farming mistakes. And this is these are the things you should avoid, and things Nooch has learned along the way. Um... Don't go some weird rebel route. And that's the... <laughs> this was the biggest mistake Nooch made early on. I, I kind of set up these goals, and I'm like, I'm going to go get Imperial Troopers because they're going to be really useful later on. They're a really good Grand Arena team, and they are. And I'm going to get Rebels, and I'm going to get it up so I can get CLS. So I kind of had this mishmash of Phoenix and other Rebels, and then I farm Biston. Don't do that. You, you could maybe farm Biggs up because you can use his ship. It's really good early on. Ahsoka just came. You're just going to unlock her in Bronzium. She comes. She just flows. Han Solo comes. Um, Biston and Scarif are Pathfinder. I was really excited early to get these guys because I was using Akbar's capital ship. And Biston's ship with Akbar's ship was a really good combo. But, you know, after a couple months of using that, I don't use it anymore. And it wasn't really worth the farming. If you're farming Geo ships, you're not going to need this. So just avoid these guys best in the pathfinder don't farm the imperial troopers early on um don't farm farm boy luke unless you unless you just want to if you really want to get the cls because cls is a great character that's going to be a separate farm. it's probably going to cost you a month or two if you're going to do that and that's fine if you want to do it i don't know that it really costs luke uh, nooch a month in luke nooch a month or two because i haven't finished it off yet um but just, just be careful with your side farms. You can also do a Padme side farm once you get the Geos. There are some side stuff you can do. Just kind of watch it and, and get a feel for how quickly you want to get to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. If you want to do them in less than 10 months free to play, you got to be really careful with how you direct those side farms and especially careful with how you spend your gear. So watch that. Learn from those farming mistakes and just watch your farming carefully as you go. Something that goes along with that and along with all of this is don't bloat your galactic power. See, Nucha's galactic power is at 1.4 million. And that's important because when you get into Grand Arena, it'll put me in a lower tier. As your galactic power goes up, you get into higher higher divisions, and your competition becomes harder. Don't bloat your galactic power. And what I mean by that is, look at all these characters that Nooch is either not leveled up past level 1, or I haven't activated. I've got Asajj Ventress. She's a great character, but I got her at level 1. Uh, I think I had Scout at 27 because I used him early in the game. IJ-88 was, was needed early in the game to conquer some nodes. Mace Windu, level 1. Newt Gunray, level 1. Stormtrooper Han, level... Uh, you can see down here I haven't even activated a lot. Lice characters are 2 stars, 4 stars, 3 stars. When we get below that, I got I haven't even activated probably... This is probably 60 to 70 characters that, that are not activated. Every time you activate and gear up and star up and level up a character... It increases its galactic power. And when you get into Grand Arena, you don't need all those characters. You don't need that many teams, especially they're, gonna, they're all going to be like gear 4 and 5 because you're not going to be able to be able to level all these guys up to gear 7, 8, 9, 10. Just, just you don't focus in. Dial in on your goals. Go out. If you decide to do a side farm for CLS or a side farm for Padme, dial in on what's needed there. If we go to Padme, well, I'm only going to be in the First Order Journey Guide here. If you're going to look at Padme, Go into these solo journeys. Go look at Padme. See what you need for her. What do I need? I need five Separatists. That's your Geos, guys. You get the Geos and go get Padme. I mean, it's just that simple. Now they're giving you Anakin. When Newt started this December 22nd and 2020, or 2020 there was they weren't giving you Anakin. Now they're giving you Anakin. So she goes. he goes really well with Padme. So that's a nice farm there. Don't bloat your roster. Focus in on what you're going to farm on. If you want to do a side farm, that's fine. Just be aware of it. Um, next in the farming, this will be the last note we have for farming. For farming characters, anyway. The two hardest pieces. The two hardest pieces. One is the finalizer. Finalizer is probably going to be the one, last one or two things you do. Along with getting all of the relic gear that you need. But the finalizer... To unlock Finalizer, you need these ships. TIE Silencer, Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle, Hound's Tooth, 
the TIE Advanced Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, First Order TIE Fighter, Slave One, and Xanadu Blood. Now, where do you get all this? We already told you to be farming the TIE Silencer in the Cantina Farm with KRU. Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle, you're going to find in a node with Darth Sion. Now, here's kind of the cool part, because you're, so you're going to end up getting Sion shards along with Command Shuttle far, shard, Fards. Now, notice that it's a 9A hard light side. That's the very last hard node of light side. It's going to take you four five months to get there and that's a borrowing characters you want to borrow characters gives it three stars it's going to take you a while to get there but the thing is you're going to be unlocking treya with raids more in a moment so you want so you can maybe use darth scion with treya to put together a pretty good team for grand arena but that's where you're going to where you're going to farm kylo ren shuttle you're going to be farming um the houndstooth bosk's ship in a note with Django Fett. So that's kind of nice because you, you're going to have to farm Bosk if you got Bosk, Bosk's ship because you need Bosk to pilot the ship to get the finalizer. So you might as well add Django Fett in there to your bounty hunter team. So that'll be nice. But again, 8D hard. That's your next to last hard node. It's going to be a while before you get to that node to be able to farm it. Darth Vader's ship, the uh, TIE Advanced, is in Fleet Battle 4B. So once you unlock Fleet Battles, it's going to take you a little bit to get this node unlocked too. You're going to be farming this every day. Uh, these nodes, they have, once you get them open, guys, farm them every day. Th that's what I want to talk about in these, in these ships. This is super important. When you get these ship nodes open, because they're all so late in the game, farm them every day. And if you can afford to refresh, to refresh this node, it costs 25 crystals. The energy would cost 50, but maybe you'll use the energy you already get naturally. If you can afford to refresh these nodes, do it because you want to get these ships unlocked as fast as possible. One note with the TIE Advanced, you do get bonuses from activities, so you may not have to refresh as much. But these nodes, Houndstooth, uh, Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle, the refresh can be really important. Uh, you're going to find First Order TIE Fighter in the Galactic War Store. Don't buy it in the Fleet Arena Store! That's where this is. Don't buy it there. You're going to get it in the Galactic War Store, the same place you're farming the Geo Ships. Boba Fett, Boba Fett. Well, hang on, let's. We gotta pull it up. This is one of Nucci's favorite little, uh, favorite little. Oh, where, where it go? Where is Boba Fett? Boba Fett, Boba Fett. Where? Okay. We let that one. That was pretty really long. Okay. All right, here we go. That's Boba Fett. Um. You're gonna get him in a fleet battle too. Fleet two, but you'll get Boba Fett open seismic. Slave one open up quicker than uh, the other ones. Actually, I'd probably yeah. Let's go ahead and upgrade this while we're in here. Okay. And uh, finally, Cad Bane ship the Xandu Blood. You're gonna get in a node with Destroyer Droids. So there's another separatist for you if you want to use that. As soon as you get those ship nodes open, guys, you gotta bang on them. You gotta farm them every single day and get them going. So that's that's the next farm. Um, you're going to get finalizer last, guys, and we'll get into that a little bit. Another note to say here. I know I know this is long, guys, but I told you a lot of information. This is this is really important stuff if you're going to be doing this farm. I mean, Nooch has... Save your credits. You're going to be going through a credit crunch. Both these credits... I, I have $42 million now. Didn't have that before. You're going to be going through a credit crunch early on. And you need to farm three scoundrels. You need to start farms from scoundrels, bounty hunters early on so that you can do the credit heist which comes around once every two or three three weeks or so um you're gonna need ship credits too guys you need ship credits save your credits don't only spend them when you have to because you're gonna be running low on them for a long time and now i'm just hoarding them and saving them so there you go now before we get over to the relic gear you need at the end let's talk about something that's super super duper really really important can't emphasize this enough when guilds open you've got to get in a good guild there are plenty of guilds out there that are active that are advertising in the forums you can go to the games forums you can look in the mailbox just look up swgh forums there's there's an advertising place for a guild there are guilds that are looking for new players that'll be 80 90 100 million galactic power already in the guild Get in one of the get in a guild that's already doing the heroic rancor, the heroic Sith raid, the heroic HAAT, and get a seven star character on your roster as soon as you can. Get 
Ezra on there, boom, farm him up, get him seven stars immediately. Because as soon as you have a seven star character, you can throw that character into these raids and get rewards. And guys, this is the most important thing. The rewards for these raids are so, look at these, this is, this is our Carbantes we were talking about. Uh, I don't think you get stunned. No, here you go. Here's our stun guns we're talking about. The gear that you get from... Oh, here's another one, guys. When you farm this piece, this Mark Fortune.com, these are rare and you need a bunch of them. Save these babies because you need them and they're hard to come by. Get in a guild that's doing these heroic raids. Um, the Sith raid is even more important gear. This gear is tied to... Um, this is all relic. This gets you to, to get you finishes off gear 12 for you to get you to relic level you need this gear you've got to be in a guild that's doing these heroic raids so get in the raids the challenge pit i wouldn't sweat that too much you're not gonna be playing in it for a long time if you can get in a guild that does that that's great if you do that then you want to get your kylo ren unmasked to relic 5 as fast as you humanly possibly can because you can throw them in here and then the rewards are ridiculous so Keep that in mind if you, if you somehow get into a guild that's doing that. But these other three required. You will not get Kylo Ren in 10 months or less if you're not in these three raids. As quickly as you get into guilds, get into a good guild. Go look in the forums. Find a guild that's looking for that. The other thing you get with a great guild is good territory battles. You get into this Geo Separatist Might. The rewards in here are the same thing, guys. Uh, we're going to end up with like 15 stars in here. You're getting, you're getting lots of gear. This is that gear 12 gear that gets you to relic. You're getting lots of really good stuff and important stuff to farm with. Get into a good guild. You're going to be winning territory wars, getting lots of Zetas, lots of Omegas. lots of So get into a good guild. Can't emphasize it enough. So, so important. Let's talk about farming this relic gear. So you can see I've got these relic characters here. Eight months, again, we are Nooch's eight months and seven days into this farm. I got most of the stuff relic. You can see Nooch's, go through Nooch's videos. I got, go on the channel, subscribe, uh, like the video. You're gonna see all these videos, go back and watch them while you can see the progress from day one to now. You have to farm the gear that's needed for these signal datas. And this is a tough farm at the end. Um, what you're going to do when you finish off all of your character and ship farms and you're, you got all the gear coming in from the raids and the territory battles and territory wars and you can buy the gear in other places we'll show you in the shops I'll we'll show you in a minute you're gonna start farming this stuff every day in the cantina you need I still need like a thousand of, of these overall I, you just need so many of these that's going to be your end game. You're going to be you're going to be hoarding up crystals. We'll talk about that in a second. That's actually Nucci's most recent video, and farming that gear at the end. This may be worse than finalizer. This this gear is harder because it's it's all cantina farms, and those cost a hundred to refresh, which is just an expensive refresh. But you're going to need all that at the end. You need so many of those to get these guys relic. Um, just be aware of that, and plan out for that at the end. One note on energy refreshes. Only refresh the energy that you need to refresh. And you're going to have to get a feel for that. One thing that Nooch did, and I don't regret it early on, until Nooch got to level 85, I would come in here and refresh my mod battles anytime that I could. You want to get these speed mods open as soon as possible. It's going to take you some effort. And I got some videos on that. You'll have to go back and look through the videos to find the mod videos. And in here, you're farming the the pieces that you can you can. Uh, oh boy, what's the <laughs> that you can? Oh no, Nooch is Nooch is losing it. What's the word? What's the word? You can slice your mods with. Those are your mod slicers, where you take a green mod to a blue mod to a purple mod. So until you get to level 85, refresh these mod battles. I'd recommend just farming as many mods. You want to farm these speed mods. Um, crit damage mods, those are the, and you're going to get a lot of health mods. Health, crit damage, and speed are the kind of the ones you want to farm as much as possible. Refresh these as, as often as you can, but it's a third. It's third to regular energy and canteen. Do your characters first, and if you have some crystals left over that you can spare, get more mods. It gets you more experience, and it'll get you to level 85 quicker, and you want to get to level 85 as quick as you possibly can. But once you get to level 85, 
just use the energy they give you on the mods. Don't use any more energy than that because you're just you're just spending it. The one good thing about mods is you can sell them for, for credits down the road when you need it. And we got plenty of videos out there. Nooch has made a couple of videos on how to upgrade mods and, and doing it. So go ahead, go check those out. Just look up Nooch and mods and you'll find it. Um, ship energy, you know, refresh it as much as possible to farm. You're gonna be farming, uh, you're gonna be farming Darth Vader ship in here and Boba Fett ship in here. You're gonna farm Sun, Sun Fact ship in here as well. Is that Sun Fact? That's Sun Fact, yeah. Sun Fact ship is farmed in here as well. I think he's all, I do believe he's in the Galactic War shop though, so get in there too. Refresh that energy. The regular energy you're gonna farm to get these characters. Once you get done farming some of these, first, and I'm not gonna go over where to farm all the First Order characters, you'll find them out there. Um, you'll know where to farm. All you gotta do to farm a character is click on them. I've got these guys seven star, but go to here and battle it'll take you to where you need to go and by the way if you're not activating a character and you're farming them so for instance um well i got well you can click on the seven stars or it takes you to the battles where let me do that because i did that for a while and that was something i actually learned so barris that's not going to work either nooch is nooch is losing it here we're, we're getting to the end of the video kind of talking about what's going on where are we where are we where okay if I want to farm more for Clone Sergeant, which I don't, but if I did, I, I don't. I, I click on this promote, and that's fine. Don't click promote. Click find. Don't click promote. Then you'll find him. If you promote, you're going to be spending your credits on a character you don't need. You'll be you'll be bloating your galactic power. You just be don't promote these characters that you don't need. I use that guy. He's in the original game. Uh, before these recent updates, he was one of the first characters you got, and you used him for some of those early light side nodes. A couple more things. One more thing to note, and then we're going to show you what to buy in the shops. I talked about hoarding crystals. Once you have everything farmed, so you can see that Nooch, I've got all my shards. I have all my ships to seven stars. I got all the characters to seven stars. I don't need any more of that farming. I'm not refreshing these nodes anymore. I'm not refreshing this node. I just farm it as they give me the ship energy. I farm it. I get ship energy throughout the day. I get refreshes with ship energy. I wake up with it. Just farm the energy they give you. Save your crystals. Once you get all the characters farmed to seven stars and you're doing pretty good on the gear, you'll have to get a feel for it and see where you are. Like right now, I'd, I'm probably a month and a half, maybe two months away from being able to unlock Kylo. I don't need to really farm the gear for these three guys because I'm going to get it through the raids and other places. I don't need to refresh. So I can save those crystals and use those crystals for a couple of things. I can use those crystals to refresh the finalizer nodes. Like I said, guys, finalizer is hard. It only comes around twice a month, and you only get 10 shards for it, and you need 65 shards. Do the math. You need to see that event seven times. It costs you 999 to refresh it. You'll see what I'm talking about. I might be going through this fast. So you need to say 3,000 crystals to refresh it three times to unlock it in two months, or if you can do more, whatever. So you're going to be hoarding crystals, but those crystals are also used at the end to, you can start refreshing these cantina nodes to get these faster as well so you'll have to kind of get a feel once you get all your all your stars and you're okay on the gear and you're in good shape start hoarding those crystals and saving them up don't spend them last thing we're going to talk about guys is what you're going to buy in all the shops every day you go in these shipments you always buy all of this gear whatever gears in here just buy it it's cheap and you 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 eventually need it you, you need it for your characters early, but you can eventually spend this to get the relic gear that you need to farm up your characters. I didn't talk about that. When you farm them, you not in addition to getting the signal data, in addition to the signal data, you need these pieces over here. And to get these pieces, you're combining other pieces of gear, and you do that in the Jawa shop. And you can see here in the Jawa shop, like for this piece, using this really low level gear that you get, that you buy, like Nooch just bought it, that's where you buy it. So buy every piece of gear in the shipments because you're gonna need it. Don't buy these care, don't spend crystals down here. That's a, there is not a bigger waste of crystals for you as a free to play player in the game. If you really wanna pay to play and spend it, I still don't think this is a great place to get crystals, but that's up to you, make that decision. You're not gonna be in this, in this store at all. Don't spend your ally points on, this is a waste. 25,000 ally points for five of these? That's insane. I can spend 5,000 and get enough character shards to go spend in the shard shop once I'm three or four months into the game to get five of these. I can, I can get 25 to 40 of these for this price. Don't spend this ever, ever. Don't spend this. 
don't spend don't spend a million credits on the don't spend in this store ever in here this is your cantina battle store this is uh where uh, where is what are we gonna farm in here i don't know that there's a lot boba fett you want to get boba fett you're gonna need him for the credit heist and while you're putting together your and you need him for the ship so yes you're gonna farm boba fett in here in the cantina battle store and first order officer is also farmed in here this is where you need him you need him for scream there kylo ren in the guild store you're gonna be farming gear in here i wouldn't buy these pulse modulators let them come as they come you get them from galactic challenges and other places um you're gonna have to figure out and realize you know i talked about these gold balls you can farm them in here these mark fours in here you get some com links you get in here these uh holo projectors mark three you get these in here these Mark V, you need a lot of these. You can farm these in here as well. But early on, you're going to be farming characters. You'll be farming um, Chopper in here. You can farm the Special Forces TIE Fighter. Nooch did. I use it in Arena still today. I use this in Ship Arena because it's a really good combo with Kylo Ren with the, with the TIE Silencer. If you want to farm it, go ahead and go for it. You're going to need to get farm First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter Pilot anyway. So you might as well get a ship in here too. You have to make a decision. You can farm Kylo Ren in here, but he's also available in a Cantina node. In the Squad Arena store, early on, you're going to farm Kanan. I got all these Mace Windu shards from the ship events that you, you start getting ship events for the... Um, what is his ship called? I don't even, I don't even know. Uh, for Mace Windu's ship. You start getting those ship events and you get Mace Windu shards. You're kind of given them. And then you're going to probably hit once or twice in the Bronzeums. Don't farm him in here ever. I, I, I got a maxed. Didn't talk about that. We'll talk about that in a second. Why I've got him next. Tarkin is the same story. You can see here, this is the mistake Nooch made farm Princess Leia early as a rebel. Asajj Ventress. Um, I did buy those. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can just farm extras. Akbar, you get the same as Tarkin. And um, who was the other one? Akbar, Tarkin, and Mace Windu. You get them in the ship battles that they give you where you're farming their capital ship. Nobody else in here. If you want to go for some Separatists, here's Newt Gunray. If you want to go for Chewbacca or Money Falcon later, there's IG-88. Galactic Warshop. You're going to be farming the Geo ships. Uh, First Order TIE Fighter is in here. You're going to farm that as well. Zeb in here. Cad Bane. You need him for his ship to get the finalizer, so you're going to be farming him in here. You can see it. Newt farmed Biggs. Other than that, well, you can farm Poggle in here, too. Phasma's in here. You're going to have to farm Phasma in here in the Galactic Warshop. In the mod store, you're not gonna spend in here. Don't spend in here. I would recommend never spending in here ever. This, these are not good value. Even if you find a mod here, speed mod with speed, four million. I can I can farm I can farm mods for a few days and end up getting. But don't spend in this shop. Fleet Arena store only Zetas. I'm not gonna say it again. I'm saying it again. Only Zetas in here. Nothing else. Don't farm anything else. In your guild event store, you'll start getting this currency when you play in territory battles. You get a little bit in territory wars, but mostly in territory battles in your guild. Don't spend up here. With, with this, this is the get to currency. If you play in the geo territory battles, you're in a good enough guild to get that. That all goes on, goes on negotiator. You're going to put that on negotiator. You can do malevolence maybe, but not really because you're not going to be using the shard shop for Grievous. You're going to get GK, General Kenobi, by the heroic AAT raid. So you're going to farm Negotiator. Only use it Get 2. This is called Get 2. Guild Event 2, Mark 2, Get 2. Guild Event 1, Mark 1, Get 1, Get 2. Only use that for Negotiator. Don't buy anything else with that. It's not It's not a good value. Don't farm characters in here. Unless you really want... You got to unlock gas for you can farm anyway. You could get Hoda. Nah, don't farm characters in here. Down here is the gear you're going to farm. Now what you're looking for, it's there. These. The Mark V stun guns. Nooch will hoard and hoard and wait and wait and wait until these show up in the shop and buy them by the fives or tens. The only things I really buy in the shop are these Mark V stun guns. And they're not here right now. Uh, it's a it's it's a piece of I'll show you in a second. Um, the only thing, the championship, this comes from Grand Arena. The only thing I buy in here are these Chirotechs. Nothing else. Don't even look. You need a ton of these Chirotechs. And you still need, even when you unlock Kylo, you need like 700 more to gear him up. Only Chirotechs with the Grand Arena Currency, the Championship Store. The Shard Store. This is an exciting place. And we'll talk about how you can get more shards for this. 
In here, don't farm the 720s. You're going to get those from the raids, other places. This is the piece of gear. This gear is also in the Guild Event Store sometimes. This is gear. You need a ton of these. And if we look at stwgh.gg, I, I don't have it open anymore. Um, we're going to go over here. We're going on 50 minutes. This is a great... Look at... This is so much info for you guys here. Okay. Galactic Legends gear needed. Kylo Ren... Oh, I need to... Oh, I zoomed in. Well, I, we're, we're there. Um, I still need 160... I'm almost to the end, and I still need 160 of these. And I'll probably need another 100 of them for, for Kylo. I, I, I probably went through like eight or 900 of these. You need a ton of these. Not eight or nine. Probably four or 500. But you can farm these here. But look, here's more Mike Five stun guns always get these mark 5 stun guns save up in here you can get carbantes but again you're going to be getting like 60 of those a week so you may not want to buy them in here in the conquest store you're going to start getting through some levels of conquest when you get your first order characters leveled up i use this store to buy gear now down the road you're going to want to farm uh commander soka tano and darth maul is available I'm just using that to buy gear right now, and you can also buy it in the Conquest levels themselves, you buy gear. One more note, and I forgot to mention, and then we're going to get out of here, and this is how you're going to get Supreme Leader Kylo Ren in 10 months or less, free to play, or quicker if you want to spend some money. One thing that Nooch did, and I'm going to put this video up, I just say, see I'm saving all of these shards on these guys, and I'm not activating them, and let's talk about Magna Guard right now. The next two stars for Magna Guard would cost me 185 shards. Well, I have 224, so I have an extra almost 39 shards. So if I activated Magna Guard right now, if I paid that for him, that would give me 39, is it 10 each? I'd have 390, I think it would be 390. That would give me 390 currency to spend back here in the shard store. Because the shard store is exactly what it says. As you get bonus extra shards above seven stars, it gives you currency for this store. You can farm General Grievous, but I don't recommend that on the Kylo Ren farm. It's gonna slow you down because you'll you'll lose out on a lot of gear in here. So what Nooch did was actually saved up like seven or eight characters, and I, I'll show them to you here. You're gonna see them. Um, Ewok Scout. You get a bunch of Ewok Scout, Snow Trooper, IG-86. You see they're all seven stars? You get a bunch of those shards through your daily bronziums and by spending on bronziums. So I had these guys way over seven stars for the amount of shards I had. So I went ahead and activated them all one day and just got Asajj, Mace Windu, Newt Gunray, Tusken Raider. You get all those, you get all those in your bronziums. And guys, you're going to be spending your bronze gems. This is the only place you spend this this currency here. There's bun you get like five free ones a day, and then you spend this currency that you get when you're running nodes for energy. You get this currency. There you go. It happened right there. Ten bonus shards of the Ewok Scout. You're going to get a lot of these. He's not a useful character. Nooch had him activated only because in the way the game used to work, he's one of the first characters you get. You, you need him for some light side nodes. Fine. But let's show you what happens with this once you get this character to seven stars and why Nooch kind of saved up till you had a whole bunch of shards. We go to the shard stop and those 10 shards get me 150 currency. So actually those 39 shards would get me like 450 currency, but 10 shards, <clears throat> 150 currency in the shard shop. So now I got stuff I can spend. I'm up to 328 every 10 and, and I can almost buy this again. So that's what you're going to do with that. Save up those, those uh, shards there. Whew, Nooch's voice is gone, I'm telling you. I know this is long, guys. I appreciate you sticking in there. The tags are going to be below. Jump on Nooch's channel, subscribe, watch the progression all the way through. You will know and understand how to farm Kylo Ren. You can apply those principles also to directly to Ray. It's going to be a very similar farm to farm Ray. It'll be a very similar farm to farm a Sith Eternal Emperor C as well, going out there and getting the characters you need. Once you get to Jedi Master Luke, it becomes a little more difficult. There's some extra journeys in there for Jedi Knight Luke and 3PO um, that are more difficult. And then when you get to the new Galactic Legends, it's on a whole other level. But you can use this and apply it to all Galactic Legends. This is for Galactic Legend Kylo. Hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully everything you get Nooch is giving you here can help you walk through the game. And hopefully you always remember Nooch too good.